Probably from the side though. Okay, one other thing to focus on as a beginner, we're gonna do a little bit of breaking on a minute here. With the dulled and the school is you're gonna slowly break. And the temptation here is to use your eyes to see where you're raking. That's fine for where you start, but what I really want you to do is move your attention into your hand and feel each little hair giving way as it's being raked out. Over time, you will be able to tell the difference between how it feels for a hair to be pulled out and for a hair to be cut. So I actually can rake and I can tell my feel whether I'm pulling or whether I'm cutting. So start now with, before you have habits you have to unlearn, ease it in and if you need to, close your eyes while you gradually pull. The more resistance you feel, the slower you should go. Because if there's a lot of resistance and you try to yank through it or pull through it, that's when you're most likely to cut the coat. So use it in, close your eyes. And one last thing, when you're holding the, the, the rake, and the shedding rake, that dog made me forget what it was. <laughs> um, it'll come to me. Maybe in a different video, but it'll come to me again. Um, so you just want to rake slowly, carefully. Go with the grain of the coat. Like on the top line, you can tell the direction of the coat is this direction. So I'm raking with it. And then on the sides, you see, it's here, it's going almost straight up and down. So somewhere between here and here, the angle, the direction of the hair coat shifts. So you want to be mindful of that. That's also why I don't comb or brush the coat before I start to rake. Go with the direction. I remembered the thing that I forgot, which is you want to hold the tool in your hand with as little pressure as you can and have it stay in your hand. Don't grip it and rake because that's the other way that you just cut hair because it's all force and you can't feel it. You'll feel more resistance when you have it and you'll feel the hairs giving if you're holding it lightly. We call it a spaghetti grip. Like my hand is a limp noodle. I'm, I'm literally not holding it any harder, harder than this. And if you're maintaining a coat, you'll do this all over. Um, if you're getting ready to section strip in another month or two, which is where our situation with the Mina is, then you can lightly rake everywhere because the idea is to get a layer coming in. Every two weeks, start a new layer by raking so that once we section strip, we'll have hair coming in underneath and we'll get to a show coat faster. And then we'll have a longer layer at the end of the section stripping and that'll help the coat stay in coat longer and then help us segue into rotating the coat.